What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Supernatural episode number 20 of season number five called The Devil You Know. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full uncut and edited reaction episodes extra early over there. If you want them, if you don't, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. So, last episode, we got introduced to the these other religions, gods. Um, and I think one of my critiques was that the show made it so that other gods of other religions were kind of weak. And you guys said that the reason was because they wanted to show the power of Lucifer and all that, but I don't know. I still didn't love it. Um, and then we got introduced to one of the other four horsemen, or four, we have four horsemen of the apocalypse that we haven't seen. So a uh, very disgusting, nasty uh, uh, horseman. Uh, other than that, yeah, we're going to go hunt them ourselves, take the rings. We have to get two more rings, I think it is. So, we have to get deaf and we have to get whatever that guy we met in the last episode was. So we're going to hop in here, have a good time. Pretty much here we go. Oh. What the hell? Relax. You're part of it too. What? What are you doing? Is it a zombie? Say, I've got an idea. What the fuck? Did you get him? He's gone. What? I still want the devil dead. Well, one thing's changed now. The devil knows that I want him dead, which, by the way, makes me the most... Oh, wait. Yeah, you were the dude at the mansion we don't protecting care. your they own ass. Down my house. I remember now. They ate my tailor! <laughs> Two months. You want the horseman rings or not? Yes. I know all about that. Shall we? Hmm. I think he will. Be, I think he's legit helping us because he literally wants to save his own ass because he has no other option because they will definitely kill you, bro. Here we are. My life on the land. How the mighty have fallen. Really? In fact, Will that push there back? is a position in communications that I think you would be perfect for. Sounds great. It is great. So what do you say? Shh, you ready to enter the cutthroat world? Ah, oh, he's going to cut him, use the blood awesome. to talk. Awesome. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's the fly from the one horseman guy. Sir, great news, the vaccine trials, the result. Because he wasn't in the gods episode. I, I don't think so. But was, was he? No, he wasn't. And then Dean just walks. Right out the door with Crowley. Oh, look, the devil to the edge and get him to jump in? You got me. What if you guys leave the devil to the edge and I jump in? Sam, oh. be just like when you turn the knife around on yourself, one action, just one leap. Are you idiots trying to kill me, Bobby? We just got done talking your brother off the ledge, and now you're lining up to say yes. It's not like that. I'm not gonna do it. Just do what I told you. I try to be convincing. It worked like a charm. Trust me. Man, I could have brung Sam with me. You gotta be shitting me, bro. He was. He gotta go by himself, I guess. He could have literally brung some uh, this dude with that. What I want is retribution. And I'm gonna rip it right out of your ass. Okay. That was fun. Oh, is he bleeding? Damn. This oh, is shit. so good. Therapeutic for sure. Is this part of the plan? Because if it's not, I don't. If it's not, we're in a bad situation right now. I'm 
excited. Oh, we got him. Nice. Jesus. Guy back to your brother. Why the hell not? Crowley. Uh, they got history. Right? What? Wait. Brady? Brady? What the fuck is Brady? Brady hasn't been Brady in years. Not since, oh, middle of our sophomore year? What? That's right. You had a devil on your shoulder, even back then. Holy what? In, in college? What the fuck? All right now, let it all. <laughs> oh, it was part of the the whole setup. He introduced her to Jess, or him to Jess, then Jess. Get out of my way! No. Oh, somebody was gonna be in there. Where? What the fuck is this? Oh, you dumb, dumb. How could you? I mean, I guess Dean never trusted Ruby. He was right, though. Wait, what? That's right. Azazel might have put the hit out on Jessica, but man, I got to have all the fun. Holy <laughs> shit. What? You know, she thought we were friends, too. Let me write in. Choose baking cookies. You can probably torture him a little bit. You know, stab, stab here, stab, stab there. But don't kill him yet. Wow, that's crazy. I kind of wish we would have gotten some stories with, like, or seen this Brady guy more often, but we could have not. It would have came as a shock. What happened? Nothing. My ass. <laughs> My Fine. Ass. Yeah, and what about Brady? Uh, the hell is that? What does it sound like hellhounds? Oh, God, Crowley. Was that a hellhound? I'd say, yeah. Why was that a hellhound? Yeah, why? What did you so, do? Remember I was telling you about my crafty little tracking device? Yeah. Demons planted one on me. Oh. You're saying a hellhound followed you here? Son of Technically, he followed this. Get me out of here. I'll tell you anything you want. Hey, shut up. Okay, well, then we should go. Sorry, boys. No one knows more about the hounds than I. You long past the point of car. He, he's, he's bailing. I knew it. Fuck. Damn it. I told you. Oh, well, good for you. Luckily, we have salt in the kitchen. I'll watch Brady. <laughs> watch me? Not that one. I broke my own. Mine's bigger. Sycamore! Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh, oh shit. Cool. That's so cool. I mean, I don't know. You're. Uh, it felt like there was more than one of the bad ones. Yeah, I'm sure Pestilence will be there. to do you a favor I expect we'll be in touch yes. <laughs> oh dude and you can't leave shit bro what that's crazy we're making a fucking we're essentially making a an arena for a fight What you see is your hell is right here. Ooh, yep, and you can't go nowhere, buddy. It's over. Oh. Uh, 
correct? I mean, it makes sense. Let's just say when they're getting their Grammys, they should. Okay. Wait, what? Here's my counter. Ow! Bloody <laughs> hell! You're feisty. Get out. All right. Well, that was episode number 20. Oh, that was a great episode. Uh, I actually really like that episode a lot, actually. Um, I'm somewhere between an 8 and a 9. That's where I'm in the range right now. So, the only thing I would have really done differently uh, would have been, um, what's his name again? Bradley? No. I want to see when the reveal happens. Sam says his name, right? Brady hasn't been. Brady. Um, the only main thing I would have done for this episode to make it better would have been introducing Brady throughout the seasons uh, is what I would have done. Now, maybe, they, maybe they've maybe they introduced him over phone calls or something, or maybe Sam's mentioned him. But I mean, it's a lot of episodes, man. It's what, 100 episodes so far? Five seasons? Um, I would have introduced him as a person that we've seen. And then when he shows up here and you find out, holy shit, you're somebody else, that would have been kind of cool. Um, I guess if you do it that way, though, the beginning, when we first see him, it doesn't make sense. And him talking, maybe, I mean, it, it might have still hit. I don't know. That's what I would have done. Um, Crowley is interesting. I mean, I like the guy, the actor that plays him, plays him really well. Um, I'm actually really intrigued. I don't think he's making it past the next couple episodes. I think he's going to die. Uh, like legit die because I don't know. I just see him as the guy trying to save his own ass. I think it's gonna backfire. He'll get himself killed. Um, interesting. I also would have gone. I don't know. I would have done more with him and Sam. We didn't get really any any real thing uh, interaction besides when Sam when he's talking to Sam and about to torture him and talking to Sam at the end. I would have wanted to. I don't know, get some emotion, some more anger out of Sam. And I think that would have made the episode even better. Uh, but I thought the episode was really good. Like, it would have guaranteed it a nine. Like, really, really up there. Instead, it's like eight to nine, almost a nine kind of range for me, at least. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I loved it way more than the last episode. I didn't love last episode. I thought last episode had some really cool ideas. And um, I think that they ultimately, what they did with the gods, I would have done something differently, so... But again, you know, but a lot of this stuff is subjective. It's just things I would have done differently looking at it as from the creator's standpoint, what I would have done to make the character for like the moments to hit harder. But this one, I liked it. I thought it was really fun. Had some cool, interesting ideas. The swine flu thing is interesting. Um, what's the guy? What's the guy's name? Pe um, Pestilence or whatever the hell that guy's name is. The other four horsemen that we're looking for essentially trying to create all these viruses and things to end the like to end the world, right? And then he brought, we brought up the Carnotonin thing. That's, not, that's how it's called, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, we got the introduction. Kind of see everything going to hell. We see the whole wearing the face mask and trying to figure out what's causing this. And we find out that the boys have been going to, from town to town seeing what has been happening, what the, um, the horseman is doing. We then get Crowley in the back seat. Sam hates this guy, wants to kill him. Uh, we haven't seen him for like four or five episodes because the last time we saw him was the episode where he was trying to save his own ass in his house. I can't remember what episode that was. Oh, I can't remember what episode that was. That was a while. It was a couple episodes ago. At least five or six, I'm guessing. Maybe more. Um, but he's talking about hey, he uh, he's going to help us find another two horsemen. He's got to figure out how a way to save his own ass. The whole thing with the rings. Then we get introduced to Brady. And... I'm talking to uh, the one dude, the one horseman. Again, we're, we're, they have no choice, so they have to go with the guy. But 
Turns out Sam isn't coming because he doesn't trust you. Uh, he doesn't trust you at all. So he, you have to stay. And Dean's like, Dean has to go by himself because if he doesn't, homeboy is going to leave and we can't have that. Uh, you know, then Sam comes up with a interesting idea. If he can, pos- if he, if he can possess, he can give himself to uh, be possessed by Lucifer. If he is able to get a little bit of control and jump into this uh, cage that we're making, we're opening. It might actually work. It might. It's actually an interesting idea. The fact is that is Sam strong enough to do it? Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Bobby kind of tells him, "Don't be an idiot." We see Carly kind of killing a bunch of people. We get the conversation here. Turns out uh, this dude uh, doesn't want the rings. He wants Dean. He starts being that living shit out of Dean. Then we find out, oh, yeah, that's what he wanted. I, I knew he didn't want the rings, but we needed you to be convincing. And then we put, like, this uh, bag with the symbol over the head, uh, the head, which is actually really interesting. Like, he did some things in this one that I was actually really, really intrigued by. The whole thing with the mask, the carving in the thing so that the guy can't escape. That's all interesting, cool shit. Then we get the whole connection. Oh, yeah, we can't go take him to Sam because uh, him and Sam have a history. Um, Then we get the reveal. Yellow Eyes didn't actually kill Jessica. Yellow Eyes sent other demons to kill Jessica, and he was the one that did it, let her on fire. Crazy. Um, He also introduced Sam to Jessica, essentially kind of setting everything in motion. Um, Carly tries to make it work. It does not. So he's going to go, um, Brady or whatever thinks he is a Brady, right? He thinks he's going to be able to save his own eye. He's like, oh, they, uh, Lucifer will be cool with me and he'll, you know, I'll die and I'll be all good. But Carly does some shit and turns out he, uh, frames him and now Lucifer is going to think he's working with him. He's going to hurt both of us really badly if he catches us. Of course, Sam locks Dean in the um in the in the bathroom, and then he's gonna go kill him. That interaction, I would have wanted more from it, right? Because all Sam does is cut him, but I would have wanted more from this interaction. Then we get Carly comes back, and uh oh, you hear the howling in the distance, and holy shit, Carly killed a bunch of demons, and a hellhound followed him back. We got bad mojo, and I love that they the way that they play up the hellhounds, right? Because he was scared as hell of the hell. He's like, oh, my God, get me out of here. He's also scared of the hellhounds. Uh, he, Carly, bails on us. He uses the fight. We're shooting. And then Carly comes back, and he goes, stay or whatever. And Dean's like, wait, you can control him? He's like, no, no. I can control mine. Bigger. And it's a cool, like, who would have thought that just looking at this, right, and then hearing noise and seeing everything kind of uh, get tossed around would have been a cool, interesting fight, right? It was. It was cool. And then we get the answer, the name where um, whatever Pestilence is, or whatever his name is. And then we get this cool moment of trapping Homeboy in here and him, him saying that, uh, Sam, you're in your own personal hell and all this other stuff. And again, I would have loved to have seen more of an interaction from Sam. Like, Sam just kind of listened and didn't really say anything. And then he ultimately killed, like, you know, had the guy in the neck. But I would have wanted to see more conversations like a more of a two-way conversation right and i think that the, the demon that killed jessica if, it, if it's not going to be the yellow-eyed a demon i would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that but that's literally all i have and then the interesting thing at the end i don't know why it has to be bobby but probably wants to possess bobby but i don't know why like, i don't know why but i don't know why it has to be bobby but ultimately, Bobby doesn't want to do it. He's suddenly got to fuck off. And at the end, he's still teasing. Hmm. Worth doing it for the plan that the guy has in motion to find death. I don't know. But great episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Picture for the full reaction. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.